Walking in a garden in which Chinese tree peonies are blooming is comparable to stepping into a Chinese scroll painting. The Chinese tree peony has been grown in China for over 1400 years and is the subject for poems, plays, monographs dealing with cultivation and even their abstract meaning. A comment from the year 860 tells of their popularity. For the past 30 years, nobility and gentry of the capital city have been making excursions to admire the tree peonies. Every evening in springtime, the carriages and horses rush madly on the roads. It is considered shameful not to spend some leisure time enjoying them. These classical plants, called mudan, are mentioned as early as the 4th century and were grown in great numbers in the emperor's garden. During the 17th century, there were some tulips in the Netherlands that sold for as much money as the cost of a house. Similar things happened in China during the 8th century with Chinese tree peonies. Then as now, tree peonies are highly prized, a comment from 1,200 years ago. Today, mudan increase and multiply yearly. Yao's yellow and Wei's purple sell for 1,000 strings of cash, yet no one has any for sale. This comment from the seventh century describes them well. In front of the audience hall of the emperor, large red tree peonies blooming in thousand petal shape. When the flowers first opened, the fragrance of their perfume was perceived by everyone. Every time his majesty gazed upon the sweet-scented luxuriant, he would sigh and say, surely such a flower has never existed among men. Tree peonies in China were incorporated into numerous gardens and gained the reputation for representing female sensual beauty, mutual sexual attraction, prosperity, and wealth. Today, there are tree peonies that are hundreds of years old in Langzhou to Chengdu, through Zhuzhou to Beijing and Luoyang. The Beijing Botanical Garden has over 4,000 plants in its collection.